Lights, camera, action! In the novel, we read about children being forced to dig holes while they are still at Camp Green Lake. In our present time, this is similar when we are reprimanded, grounded, or punished for doing something bad, like disobeying your parents, not doing your homework, and misbehaving. When we take and do our punishment, just like detention, it helps us to become better people. The story shows us the benefits of friendships. Just like what Stanley did, he made friends with Hector Zeroni. The destructive nature of cruelty and bullying, like child abuse, saying bad words, and many more, and importance of the history in our lives. Just like we're remembering our past and not doing the wrong things again. This book's lead character, which Stanley Yelness is not your typical hero, we can all relate to him because none of us have special powers, have super strength, none of us are perfect or has the IQ of Einstein. He is a normal average but sometimes messed up kid, just like you and me. We are all different. But as you go along reading the story, he lifted up himself to become a good person. How? He made friends with Hector Zeroni to break Madame Zeroni's curse to head set himself free from Camp Green Lake. In the story, a curse is mentioned that fell on Stanley Yelnats through his ancestors. Likewise, to this day, some people believe in curses in the Philippines. Some people believe in what they call it kulang. This story has a lot of timeless lessons. Louis Sakar is the author of this book, Holes. He was born on March 20, 1954 in the East Meadow of New York City. He's an American writer of children's books. When he was nine, he moved to Tucson, California. He went to college in the University of California and graduated in 1976 as an economics major. The next year, he wrote his first book, The Sideways Stories of Wadeside School. By 1989, his books were beginning to sell well enough, so he began to work full-time in writing. Sakar wrote a book over the course of nine months, during which he worked during the day in the Connecticut sweater warehouse. After being fired, Sakar decided to go to law school. Around that time, the sideways stories of Wayside School was accepted for publication, so it was released in 1978. The book did not sell very well, but Sakar began to have a fan base among young readers. So after he graduated law school in 1980, he began to work part-time in writing. The lessons that I learned from the book holes are always think twice before you make your decision because if we don't we're gonna end up choosing the wrong decision and you will end up regretting them in the end choices will affect our future so we really have to choose our our choices wisely like stanley he was very positive and he was full of hope in a position and case that was hopeless we should follow his example another lesson that i learned is you should be friendly and helpful to others because this is how Zero and Stanley's friendship began by helping each other and being right to each other. Thank you. The theme in Holes is friendship. He doesn't have any friends. He is overweight and is larger than his classmates. As a consequence, he is picked on and teased. Stanley is a misfit and he knows it. Between his low self esteem and bad luck, Stanley is quite unhappy. After being at Camp Green Lake for a few weeks, Stanley realizes he is larger than the boys in his tent, but he is no longer fat. The shoveling has strengthened his muscles. The boys respect his size and give him the nickname Caveman. A bond, a bond develops between Stanley and the boys. He gives x-ray the lipstick he finds and takes blame for the magnet when he stole Mr. Sir's sunflower seeds. Stanley understands the, 
the range that exists among the boys. Consequently, they learn to trust Stanley. Stanley and Zero form a close friendship. Zero trusts Stanley enough to reveal that he cannot read or write. Stanley doesn't laugh at him. Instead, he he begins to teach Zero how to read it and realizes Zero is quite intelligent. Zero fights for Stanley after he runs away. Stanley, Stanley yearning to rescue Zero, empowers him to to carry Zero up the hill, th up the side of the mountain. Sitting on the top of the mountain, Stanley is happy. He likes who he is and feels good because he has friends. Good afternoon, Miss Agun, and good, good afternoon, classmates. My favorite line is, I know it's not the same, but I'm very proud of you for trying to make the best of this situation. It's written in the letter of Stanley's mom. It's my favorite line because even though he was stuck in a bad situation, his mom was still proud of him. In other stories, if kids were stuck in embarrassing and bad situations, their parents would immediately pretend they didn't exist, which would hurt the kids. It's my favorite line because it shows the love of the parents for Stanley, and it, ex and it especially shows that they are proud to have Stanley as a son. Sometimes we just have to be proud. He is larger than his classmates. And oh, wrong. He is larger than his classmates. The boys in his tent 